Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to another WIST Technology tutorial. In today's lesson, I'm going to be talking about Google Forms. Now, Google Forms never cease to amaze me, and I'm always interested in finding clever ways that people have been um, deploying them in their schools. And I was working on another project, and I kind of stumbled upon this idea that I don't think I've seen before. Perhaps others have done this, but um, I just kind of wanted to, to share this with you. What this is is a Google Form where the options will change based on the day of the week. So say, for example, I have uh, after-school clubs, uh, and every day my kids need to sign up for an activity they want to do after school. I have my entire week mapped out, but I just I, I want to perform as little maintenance as possible on the Google Form. Um, well, I have a form here that basically runs itself, so... Monday will list Monday's option, Tuesdays will list Tuesday's options, Wednesday will list Wednesday's options, and it'll remain just a one-question form, but I don't have to touch this ever again. Today being Thursday, these are Thursday's options, and I'm going to show you how you can accomplish this um, in this tutorial. So here we go. The first thing I did was I built a master spreadsheet, and you'll here see in this color right here, it, the headers are the days of the week, and... I listed my options below all the activities that are available on those days below the header. Now in column F, here in F1, I'm using the function equals now. What this does, I'll just go over here to uh, uh, cell K, uh, just to kind of show you what this does. If I do equals now, it puts in basically a timestamp of now. Um, and using the formatting tools, you can actually change this timestamp into an actual day of the week. So I just went over to number, more formats, and then you can see I have just Tuesday here, but you can actually create your own time timestamp format um, right here and I notice I just selected the day that's all I want to apply I do that now I get the day of the week there so I can utilize this information which will change every day so tomorrow this will be Friday um, and then of course Saturday and Sunday nothing it will be available because there aren't any options on those days but anyway I'm using this to generate the day of the week and now in column G, I simply wrote in today as the header. Um, and then in G2, I'm using this function right here, indirect F1. Now this is referencing this cell, and it's basically looking over in this range here and bringing back all of the contents below um, this Thursday. Um, or at least that's what it appears to be doing, but not really. Um, what I've actually done is I've named all of these ranges. So here, if we look under the data, under named ranges, you can see I have named my ranges by the day of the week. So the Monday range is column A, and that is A2 to A1000. So basically, it's looking from here on down, and it's, it's grabbing all of the items in that range here. Um, so this indirect function is actually calling upon uh, that named range. Um, so uh, just to demonstrate, uh, let's pretend that this is now Friday. I'm actually going to remove the now. And I'm going to put on Friday. You're going to notice now the options are television, film, digital design, and fitness. And if we go to Monday, for example, here we got chess, math, computer science, bio, so on and so forth. So um, the idea is that this cell, which pulls the day of the week, dictates have changed the format here again, dictates the contents of column G. 
Then in my form, so let's now hop over to the Google form. I'm using Form Ranger, which allows you to pull options from a spreadsheet. Um, so as you can probably imagine, I am pulling these options from column, from the today column, which is column G in my spreadsheet. And then I'm having it auto repopulate every hour. So at some point during the middle of the night, past midnight, uh, when everyone is hopefully sleeping, these options will change and I don't have to come in and modify the options for that day. So and you, you simply choose your value list by uh, clicking a new value list. I'll just kind of briefly go through the, the form ranger add-on. And then you go to uh, the spreadsheet that contains uh, the data that you want to reference. And then you choose, for example, the column, which, of course, I'm doing the today column. And then I'd click Next, and I would give it a name, so on and so forth. But since I've already done that, I'm not going to do that. So there you have it. So in summary, I'm using a master spreadsheet with rotating activities uh, below the days of the week, which are named ranges. I'm using the now function to populate cell F1 with today's day. And then I'm using the indirect function to literally populate that range uh, based on the named range here in, in F1, which, which I made to be the day of the week. So I think this is kind of an interesting use of, of Google Forms. I'm not certain how practical it is, but it, I think it's kind of a, a fun use of creating a rotating list of options that you don't have to uh, handle yourself. You can just go to the spreadsheet if you need to make changes to the options, but you could literally plan out an entire week and not have to go back to that form. So, hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.